Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Fallout 4 script extender. Now, you should only download this from the F4SE Silverlock.org website, nowhere else, because this will always keep it up to date. Right now, the current version is build 0.6. You're going to want to download the 7Z archive. And once it's done downloading, you're going to want to extract to F4SE. And it'll create a folder on your desktop with all the files in it right here. Here it is. Next, you're going to want to locate your Fallout 4 directory, which is Steam, Steam Maps, Common, Fallout 4, the usual with mods like this. You're going to want to open up F4SE, and then you're going to want to copy and uh, paste custom control map all the way down to F4SE into your Fallout folder. As you can see, I already have it installed over here so I do not need to redo it again and then the next thing you're going to want to do is right click on the data folder and add to archive and name the data folder the current version of your F4SE so F4SE scripts and then 0. Uh, 6.0 and then you press OK. And then it should create a little RAR file for you to have. And then once you bring this RAR file onto your desktop, you can close out of the directory and the RAR zip folder. Next thing you're going to want to do is go into your Nexus Mod Manager. Now this is where it gets kind of tricky because I already have it right here. But for the sake of this video, I named it differently. Next thing you're going to want to do is just drag the F4SE scripts archive that you just made into your Nexus and then press the green check mark and once that is complete F4SE should be installed all right now once you've loaded up fallout and you are on this screen press the squiggly key which is often known as the console key to the left of the one once this pops up type in git F4SE version and then press enter and this num uh, dialog will pop up showing your F4SE version number and that means you've successfully installed F4SE.